The example I used below um, is an example of a compound AI system. Um, you've also might be popular with retrieval augmented generation, which is one of the most popular and commonly used um, compound AI systems out there. Um, most RAG systems and the example I used below are are defined in a certain way. So if I bring a, a very different query, let's say I ask about the weather in this example here, it's going to fail because this the path that this program has to follow is to always search my vacation policy database and that has nothing to do with the weather. So when we say the path to answer a query, we are talking about something called the control logic of a program. So compound AI systems um, we said most of them have programmatic control logic, so that was something that I defined myself as the human. Now, let's talk about where do agents come in. One other way of controlling the logic of a compound AI system is to put a large language model in charge. And this is only possible because we're seeing tremendous improvements in the capabilities of reasoning of large language models. So large language models, you can feed them complex problems and you can prompt them to break them down and come up with a plan on how to tackle it. Another way to think about it is on one end of the spectrum, I'm telling my system to think fast, act as programmed, don't deviate from the instructions I've given you. And on the other end of the spectrum, you're designing your system to think slow. So uh, create a plan, attack each part of the plan, see where you get stuck, see if you need to readjust the plan. 